Hey guys, welcome to Bambi TV, guys. The room checking out Hala Tattoo Ideas Mufti Mek. Yeah, I don't think I got the pronunciation correctly, but let's go straight into this. Assalamu alaikum. The body you and I have was actually entrusted to us by the Almighty who made us. So it doesn't belong to us. And that's why when someone passes on, we usually say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un, which means we all belong to Allah and we're all ultimately going to return to Allah. So when Allah gave me the body, it's only to use for a few years that I'm on earth. After that, it will decompose into the soil in the case of the vast majority. In Surah Taha, Allah says, we have created you from the soil or the dust and we will return you into the earth and we will resurrect you from it thereafter. So meaning once again. Now, once we understand and realize that the body is entrusted to us by the supreme deity who it belongs to and he wants it back, we will then realize that we're not allowed to do with it whatever we want to do, but we will only be allowed to do what he allows us to do, what he has permitted. So for example, when it comes to piercing, you cannot just pierce anywhere and everywhere thinking it's my body. A believer doesn't look at it that way. A believer says this belongs to the Almighty. I'm not going to cause any harm to it. I'm not going to damage it to the best of my ability. And for this reason, Allah says, وَلَا تُلْقُوا بِأَيْدِيكُمْ إِلَى Don't ever throw yourselves using your own hands into destruction. So I'm not allowed to just pierce anywhere and everywhere. For females, they're allowed to pierce their ears and the piercing elsewhere is disallowed. Some scholars have allowed a little bit more than that. But let's look at the issue of tattoos. So if I am using, say, for example, henna or a little bit of a dye that is permeable and I'd like to put a design on my hands or wherever else, um, I would be allowed to a certain extent to do that. But if it is permanent, then we as believers look at it by saying, who gave me the right to make a permanent change to this body of mine that the Almighty has entrusted me with? If I find it in the teachings of the messenger, peace be upon him, I would do it. If I don't, I will abstain from it because when I give it back to Allah Almighty, I want it to be in the best possible shape I could have kept it. And you will earn a reward for that. I will earn a reward too. So we should not be doing permanent tattoos. In fact, the vast majority of scholars say that it is prohibited. Now, when it comes to someone who already has done it, or sometimes you were not practicing much or you weren't a Muslim at a certain stage and you did a permanent tattoo, what happens? Or you did it and now you're regretting it. Now, it's not so easy to remove it because sometimes it is more damaging to remove it than to just leave it, you know, you made the mistake and it was there once. If I'm going to try and rectify it, I might damage my body even more, in which case you don't try and rectify it, you leave it as it is and you seek the forgiveness of Allah and He will forgive you. There are many people I know of, even my personal friends, some of them have had these tattoos before they accepted Islam. When they reverted, it was impossible to remove it or extremely difficult painful or it was going to be more damaging so they didn't do it in some cases I told them don't do it because then you're defeating the purpose you're trying to cure something with something even worse so for that reason you will find a lot of people with tattoos not because they're defying Allah they did it when they were either ignorant or non-muslim or they were not practicing so much and now they won't be able to remove that tattoo 
So don't judge people when you see people with tattoos. I know there are a few scholars who actually have a few tattoos that are quite embarrassing to them according to what they've told me. And then, uh, subhanAllah, because they know the ruling, and this is the ruling actually, that you don't have to remove it if you cannot remove it, or it is difficult or harmful or painful, etc. You don't. So uh, if it is easily removable, then Bismillah. I received an email today actually from someone telling me I've been trying the laser treatment and uh, this is to remove the tattoos that I have, but it's still leaving marks. So subhanAllah, I just responded to say, just do your best and that's it. You know, you don't really have to worry. The Almighty has forgiven you. The first time you ever said, I regret it and I shouldn't have done this. Forgive me and inshallah, I won't do any more. The moment you say that genuinely, you're totally forgiven, even though you might have to live with that tattoo. Now, let me explain to you, the young and the old, don't do permanent tattoos in a rush. I know of quite a few people who say, I've got my boyfriend or girlfriends or even husbands or wives name uh, tattooed permanently uh, in a certain part of my body. Sometimes it's a bit embarrassing where they did it and sometimes they did it somewhere. Uh, and now we've broken up or we're divorced or he's passed away. What do I do? Subhanallah, you didn't think, did you? Or people regret, I did a tattoo and now I don't know what to do. Big regret, big regret. So if you really want, do something that's not permanent. You know, maybe you can have a temporary tattoo. Maybe you can have one made with henna. Uh, maybe you can have something that is removable so that you won't regret it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness and ease. I thought I'd spend a few moments to beautifully explain to you that, yes, there is a detail as believers. We do believe that the body belongs to the maker himself. And we are just the soul in that body. We have to carry the body in the best possible way. Don't do things that will uh, embarrass you. Some people actually go and pierce their private areas. They tattoo, uh, you know, in some of those areas. Uh, as believers, that should not be the case. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, protect us and grant us goodness, all of us. And may Allah Almighty have mercy on us and our offspring. And remember, uh, try your best to be the cleanest possible person. One thing that I learned, and I'll end on this note, is if you have used some of these tattoos, the permanent ones and so on, you cannot even donate blood. You cannot even donate blood. And very quickly, you are allowed to donate blood. In fact, if it, there is a need and you are able to give, then for as long as you're not buying and selling and there is the need, uh, it is recommended to actually give uh, your blood and to help humankind. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help every one of us. Aqulu qawli hadha wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Guys, personally, I feel tattoo is wrong. Like, it's very, very wrong thing to do, both in... Well, as a Christian too, guys, the only thing the Bible like you shouldn't tattoo like is a wrong thing. But so people are saying is the message was for people in Israel, but I feel in general, guys, like you putting marks on your body that's going to stay a lifetime. Like if it's temporary, we know you can remove it. But I feel this is a personal risk, guys. Well, you don't have to read, be, be aware of things, guys, because it was written lack. We, because of lack of knowledge, my people perish. You're supposed to be able to know. So when you meet your maker, you able to explain yourself. I hear this is the personal way that everyone's facing, so we don't have to judge anybody. God is the creator, and he's the only one that has the right to judge. Because we're waiting, don't judge unless you be judged. Sorry for the noise, guys. But guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. First.